What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'll be showing you the top 10 new features in Mac OS X 10.10 Yosemite. Starting off the list, the number one biggest change in Yosemite is by far the brand new design all across the operating system. The flat design of iOS 7 has come to the Mac. It is evident in the new icons on the dock and the redesign of the dock itself, plus the redesign of mini apps and the finder with translucent windows galore, which I personally really love. And if you are a typography junkie, or even if you aren't, you'll probably have noticed that they changed the system font from Lucida Grande to Helvetica New. Yosemite is by far the biggest UI overhaul since the switch to Aqua in 2000. Now, number two is Notification Center, and there's now a today plus the notification section. At the top, you get uh, the date and then the weather forecast for the day. You can also have a weather widget. There's also a really cool social feature, so you can uh, message someone directly from this today view now. You can see calendar events, stocks. You can also do calculator calculations. And then down here at the bottom, if you hit edit, you can actually add in. So I'm gonna add in this clock widget. Um, and if you click uh, the app store, you'll see that they'll actually be able to download and install ones from the app store when you SMD is released officially. And then of course you still have the classic notifications, but the today view is really awesome and makes notification center that much better. Number three is Spotlight. It no longer just lives up in the top right hand corner of the screen. No, it is now front and center with a brand new beautiful UI and you can search not only your Mac, but also the internet. Quickly get to Wikipedia articles, perform unit conversions. You can type in something like brunch and pull up local restaurants. You can even get uh, information about movies and ratings. Spotlight is an even more powerful tool now. Number four is iCloud Drive. No longer can you only get to documents for a particular app, say Keynote, from within the Keynote open screen. Now you can access all your documents stored on iCloud in one central place, along with storing any files that you wish to on the drive. It doesn't have to be a document created by an iCloud app. There's also going to be improvements for syncing, so hopefully uh, we won't get those aggravating sync warnings and errors when you edit something on iPhone and then go to edit the same document on your Mac. Messages is a great app on the Mac and it's just gotten better. You can now send text messages to any phone. It no longer has to be an iOS device. Your iPhone acts as a relay. It bounces the message from your Mac to your iPhone to the recipient. And there's also uh, some improvements for group messaging. You can see uh, shared locations, all the uh, group pictures you've sent to each other, and you can also name the group. Number six is making calls from your Mac. Have you ever been on your computer and there's a phone number on screen that you need to call? Well, now you can do it right from your Mac. Let's pull up Spotlight and call this number here. You just click on the phone icon and the call starts and you see a nice display of the call info in the top right hand corner. Unfortunately, Yosemite is being quite buggy for me lately. So uh, here's a photo of what uh, the UI will look like. I have made a couple calls in the past and it worked great, but uh, it stopped working for me. Uh, also, your Mac will be able to receive calls whenever your iPhone is near. A uh, notification will just pop up at the corner and you can click uh, accept or deny. Number seven is handoff. If you're working on an email or browsing Safari on your iPhone or iPad and you walk up to your Mac, an icon will show up to the left of the dock. Uh, it'll be Safari or Mail respectively. And if you click on it, it'll open up to the email right where you left off editing or right to the web page that you are browsing. Number eight is AirDrop between Mac and iOS devices. To get this to work, make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your Mac, then swipe up from the bottom on your iOS device and select to turn AirDrop on. Then from your Mac in the AirDrop window, you can see your iPhone pop up, and then just drag and drop whatever files you wanna share, such as this photo, and then you'll get a notification on your iPhone to accept or reject the file. 
Number nine is mail markup. If you go into settings, you'll see a new section called extensions. And one of the extensions within there is actions. And then within that is markup. And to see markup in action in a really cool place, we're going to check out mail. So we're going to compose a new message here. And then I'm going to drag in a picture. And at the top right corner of the picture, you'll see this arrow. And if you click on it, um, you can actually mark up on the picture itself. So it's really, really cool. You can actually draw shapes as you see right here. And then the computer interpret it interprets it and puts the the actual shape on the picture it's really cool you can also uh, annotate by uh, drawing these text boxes and you can also add magnifying glasses uh, to it and then the typical thing uh, like just adding text boxes is also available but it's really awesome it actually saves to the picture itself and then you can send it to whoever so it's really a nice feature um, when you need to mark up something quick and email it off Number 10 is mail drop. The most annoying thing about email is when you try to send a message and you can't because the attachments are too big. Now that problem is essentially fixed. With mail in Yosemite, you can send a message with up to five gigabytes of attachments. So as you can see, I have this large video file here. I'm just gonna drag it into an email, add a little text and fire it off. I'll select to use mail drop. And what happens is uh, the attachment is taken out of the email and managed on Apple servers while the rest of the email goes through your regular email server. And then on the other side, it is pieced back together. So here we have the received message. Everything came through fine. We can actually play the video in the message. And that remember is over a 100 megabyte video right there. Now, if the user doesn't have mail for Mac, then they'll just be given a link to download uh, the large file. But still, this is a much better solution than what's currently available. So super excited about this feature. So there you have it, guys. Those are the top 10 new features in Mac OS X 10.10 Yosemite. Uh, let me know down in the comments what other sorts of videos you want to see. If you want to see some iOS videos, uh, new features, hidden features, hidden features in Yosemite, just let me know down in the comments section. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have an awesome day. Later.